If you haven't already completed my Blender how to create a standard color palette texture video, then do that first and then return to this video, link in the description. So you want to add that extra little something to your 3D models, nothing looks better than a few small emissive colors popping out on your objects. If you have seen this in other people's videos and are wondering how you can achieve the same effect then you have come to the right video series. Not only do the color palettes make coloring your objects simpler they also have the added benefit of a lower amount of draw calls, making them more efficient when rendering in game engines. For more information check out my Blender how to create a standard color palette texture video, which explains the difference of draw calls between a color palette textured material and individual textured materials. Enough jibber jabber, let's get into this. Pause the video if you wish to read the disclaimer. Before we start you will need to have already created the standard color palette texture. If you haven't then head to my first tutorial video, link in the description. Open the standard color palette texture in Photoshop. Create a new document. An emissive color palette texture is basically two standard color palettes together so set the width to 64 and the height to 32. Check the other settings are the same as shown. You can name the file and then click create. Zoom into the image to make positioning the color palettes a simpler process. Select the standard color palette tab and then select the rectangle selection tool. Only draw the selection rectangle around the active colors of your color palette. Make sure that you have selected the layer with your color palette on or you'll copy the blank background. Hit Command and C to copy your selection. Select your new color palette tab. Hit Command and V to paste your selection to the new image. Now select the selection tool from the toolbar menu on the left. You should already be on the color palette layer, if not select the layer with your color palette. Move your color palette to your desired position. Now press Command and V to paste another copy of your color palette. Because you already have the move tool selected move the newly pasted color palette to your desired position. You can spend a bit of time arranging the color palette positions until you are happy. If you would like to add your own touch to the color palette then add a color to your background. First select the background layer, then select the fill bucket from the tool menu, select a color and then left click anywhere on the background layer. If you have already named your file then select save. If you haven't named your file then select save as and then name your file. The reason to create the emissive color palette texture this way is to allow us to have a standard color palette and an emissive color palette in one color palette texture. This allows us to create one material when importing our color palette into a 3D modeling or game engine software, like Blender or Unity. If you find my content useful then please like, follow, share, and comment. Now it's time to make the emissive color palette texture. This part of the process is simple. Start by selecting Save as and renaming the color palette to Emissive. This is to make another copy of the base color palette which we will convert into the Emissive color palette texture. The Emissive color palette works using the RGB color range of 0 to 255. 0 equals emission is off, and 255 is full on. Select the layer which contains the left color palette and then delete the layer. Now select the background layer and set the color to black which has an RGB value of 0, 0, 0. Because our color palette RGB values are greater than 0 this will make these colors emissive. The emissive color palette is a map of the brightness levels, so you have to imagine that the base color palette sits on top of the emissive color palette. The left hand color palette is not emissive because it is over the black section of the emissive color map, which equals emission off. The right hand color palette is emissive because it is over the color palette section of the emissive color map, which equals emission on at the RGB value. So the higher the RGB value the brighter the emissive light. Brightness levels can also be adjusted in the material when created. Don't forget to save your work. You can export the emissive color palette by selecting export, as from the main menu. Make sure PNG is selected and the transparency check mark is off. You can take a screenshot of the video for future reference of the required settings. Click export. You can rename the file if you want, then click save. Emissive part done. If your base color palette is not open then select open recent, and the base color palette you have been working on. 
Now select export, as from the main menu. Make sure PNG is selected and the transparency check mark is off. The setting of the same is the emissive color palette so you can refer to this video or the screenshot taken earlier. Click export. You can rename the file if you want, then click save. If you have completed the steps correctly you should end up with two PNG files, one base color palette texture and one emissive color palette texture. Congratulations it's time to move on to how to create a material in Blender. Don't forget to check out my website. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified of my new content. Thank you for watching, see you soon.